A lab analysis can be difficult to understand if you don't know what you're looking at. In this video, we're going to break down the contents of our Saffron Certificate of Analysis. The lab analysis is a panel of several tests conducted by a third-party independent laboratory following standards established by the American Spice Trade Association and the International Organization for Standardization. It begins with an identification test and a microscopic examination of the saffron. Next, a test is conducted to check for extraneous floral waste. This refers to other parts of the crocus flower other than the saffron stigma, such as the flower petals and stems. You want to make sure none of that is in your saffron. The next test checks for foreign botanical matter. This refers to any other plants that could be blended into your saffron. For example, some imitation saffron brands are actually selling you mostly dyed corn silk. Another test is conducted to check the solubility of the saffron. This is important for knowing how much of the natural benefits of the saffron you can extract by steeping. Although it does not account for all steeping methods, nor all forms of consuming saffron. According to the ISO, solubility in saffron is measured by a max score of 65%. Another test checks the moisture content of the saffron. This is confirming that your saffron is not filled with excess moisture, which adds weight. You want to make sure the saffron you're buying has a low moisture content. Otherwise, you're paying a hefty markup for water. According to the ISO, properly dried saffron should have a moisture content no higher than 12%. The next series of tests verify the chemical potency of the saffron. The chemicals crocon, picocrocon, and saffronel are responsible for the color, taste, and aroma of saffron. The presence and potency of these chemicals are measured by a numerical score. According to the ISO, high quality saffron should have a crocon score of 200 and above, a picocrocon score of 70 and above, and a saffronel score within a min-max range of 20 to 50. Finally, the last series of tests check for nine different artificial colorants. A quality saffron should have absolutely no presence of artificial colorants. The coloring properties of authentic saffron should come solely from its crocon. Thanks for watching our video. Please hit the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe, as we will be publishing more videos in this series and we hope to be a resource for you. If you want to learn more about saffron today, visit us at www.mazias.com.